Hi, another interesting gadget today. 5.8 GHz, 150 channels OTG video receiver for FPV. I wanted to review such device for a long time, and here it is. This little device is designed to build your own FPV goggles using a smartphone and some cheap glasses. As a backpack device to record your flights on the field using your smartphone, tablet or even a laptop. Or if you like to attend different FPV events, you only need this and your phone to jump into the action. It comes in a small aluminum box that has VTX, regular omnidirectional antenna and small micro USB to micro USB OTG cable. No manual, but it's very easy to work with, anyway. You can connect this VTX to either your smartphone, Windows or Android based tablet or even a laptop. In case if you would like to use your Android OS smartphone, make sure that it supports OTG function and has UVC, Universal Video Class Drivers. In order to check that, you can try to connect any USB camera to your phone and run any app like GoFPV from Google Play. This app would notify you whether your device has UVC drivers or not. Usually, MediaTek devices like this driver, but many others like Qualcomm and Exynos do. But even if your smartphone doesn't have UVC support, you can still use this VTX with any Windows device like I do. Just connect it to any USB port with a provided or regular cable. Your PC would recognize it as an external USB camera. Run any application like Free2X webcam recorder. Connect to external camera device. Press and hold a small auto scan button on VTX. It would start searching through 150 channels giving you OSD hints on the channel selected and some spectrum analyzer graph. Now you have the picture and can start recording it. Another short button press would bring OSD readings of signal quality and current frequency. I should emphasize the fact that different applications for Windows would show different video latency results, which would grow to extreme level of about 1 second when recording. At the same time, Android phones would show way low latency, usable for FPV flights, when not recording, and some higher latency figures if the recording is on. This is why I would keep this device for parallel recording or to watch how others fly. Anyway, great value for money that does cover many situations where it might be necessary. Check this video description to find more information about it. Now, let's do the test. I would use this OTG receiver and my Quantum Auto Scan receiver, both with exactly the same antennas attached and recorded with the same software. I would go around with the quad to show how those two receivers perform. The one that would finish first would be the worst one, because it would speed up the video when its frames are dropped. Have a good time, stay tuned, more reviews to come.